Okay, I'm going to show you how to do this since it didn't work last time. Uh, basically, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to the, the Arduino website and download a version of Arduino. If you're using the Windows platform, I suggest you follow their instructions because you're going to have to install a driver before you can use your Arduino variant uh, to uh, upload, f upload your firmware for your 3D printer. Otherwise, uh, just you can download, download the, uh, the packages that they have and install them. Uh, but if you're on a Linux system, there's probably a distro out there that you can use. So, using uh, let me see. So, using the package manager, you can simply install it, and it will install the latest uh, stable version for your platform. So, w once you've installed that. Uh, uh, a good thing to do so you don't have to set permissions is to simply run it as sudo if you're on Linux so you don't have to set permissions and I already have uh, I already have it running so what I'm going to do is show you how to get the firmware what you do is go to the internet and search for COSL and this is the first thing that's going to come up it's going to be reprap.org wiki COSL and you scroll down to the bottom, and it'll have this link down here that says Modified Firmware. Uh, download that, unzip it, and it's going to have your Marlin firmware. All right, so I already have it open. And what I'm going to go ahead and show you are the things that you need to check uh, before you upload. The first thing that you definitely need to check is the motherboard. What this does is it sets the current, the pins that it needs for the breakout board. If you're using a Rambo, you're going to be using different pins off of the Arduino um, and so this sets up your pins for you. Everybody's got it nice and, and organized so that it'll work for your platform. So I've already set it for 301, which is the Rambo board. If you're simply using one of the ramps, you come up here and select uh, 33 uh, for this setup, and there are se separate setups for the ramps. I use 33. Um, and the other thing, since we're going to check our bed and our and our hard end to make sure they work. Go ahead and select the, th the th thermistor that you're going to be using. Uh, here's a list up here. So this is where you select your thermistor. Everything's commented really well. The only other thing you want to check is your in-stop uh, behavior. Down here it'll tell you the in-stop behavior. What false means is that when it's not tripped that it's a zero and if when, when it is tripped it's a one so it only sends a signal whenever it's tripped and uh, that's important for knowing when it's at home position so after you've done that you've downloaded it you've opened up your PDE actually I should show you how to open it up So the file you're going to want to open up is this, this INO file. Don't open up the PDE unless you're using an older version of the Arduino IDE. Uh, I prefer to use the INO. Uh, it's the, the more stable, it's the newer variant of the sketch system for Arduino. So after you've opened it up and modified it the way I've showed you, make sure that you have the correct board selected. I'm using the Rambo, so I have a 2560 chip. The serial port's correct. If you're using the Rambo, make sure you turn your power supply on, otherwise it probably won't respond as the new variants have to have a power supply connected. Um, yeah, so go ahead and upload your sketch. Uh, if you have problems uploading to your Rambo, just go ahead and unplug it and replug it, plug it in, and that'll probably solve your problems. If you're using the Arduino, you don't need to use the external power supply. However, you won't be able to run your motors or your extruder uh, with, without it, you won't be able to run your hotbed because it requires that power supply. So go ahead and hook up your power supply like I showed you in the previous video. And after you're done uploading, you should see this down here that says done uploading if you haven't had any problems. So now I'm going to show you how to hook up all your hardware. All right. 